We would be honored if you would join us. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we've got another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback for you. We're looking at Sacy Teen. Uh, this is one where I unfortunately did not keep the card, or either that or it's been misplaced over the years at some point. Um, yeah, this one I don't have the packaging for either. I'm, I do remember buying this. I do remember the day I bought this, so I know I had the packaging at one point. Maybe it would just, you know, maybe it just got caught up in some rubbish at some point. Not super important. But also means we can get straight into taking a look at the figure. Now, um, in terms of accessories, he does come with his lightsaber, which is cool. You know, pretty simple design. Nothing too extravagant there, but nice nonetheless. Obviously like a nice sort of greeny yellow blade. And more so more green. Um, I mean, we, we all know he's got a green lightsaber. So that's cool. Um, now, he did come, like a lot of the Clone Wars era figures, some of them came with some weird sort of gimmicky things. Now, Sacy Teen came with a sort of a winged rocket pack glider looking thing, um, which I no longer possess. It's somewhere... I don't know. <laughs> I've got no idea. It's just one of, those, one of those items that just goes missing over the years. You know, there were weird... There were some weird gimmicky sort of accessories back then. Um, but I do have the other two parts to it, and I will explain how that goes. So we'll just pop off his head. Now, you do get this sort of chest piece armor. Armor there. So it just sort of sits over over the shoulders, nice and snug. This is a big peg there. That's where the jetpack sort of fitted onto. Let me put the head back on. And then he also comes with this sort of slot over helmet, which, despite not using this in the sort of the animated Clone Wars series, or the 2008 and onward animated Clone Wars series, it's a nice sort of throwback to the 2003 Gendi Tartakovsky Clone Wars, where Sacy Teen was had a little bit more armor, um, and he did he did rock this helmet, or at least the figure did. It's been a little while between, you know, solid viewing of the 2003 Tartakovsky Clone Wars. I'm pretty sure he did, but that looks kind of cool. I've always been sort of half tempted to, you know, shave that peg off the back and, you know, stick a spare, you know, sort of a clone jetpack on there. I think that might look cool. But, you know, I display him without that. The head sculpt is too nice to display with a helmet. Um... So I'm going to pop that armor off and we can get a good look at the figure then. So I'm just going to try and zoom up on the head a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Such a, such a nice, such a nice looking head sculpt. The paint detail on the horns is fantastic. It's just... You know, things like the brow lines, the sort of cheek lines, the cheekbones, you know, just beautifully sculpted, really shows off his features well. And yeah, that sort of, sort of shaded, faded sort of horn look, it's sort of dark at the, dark at the root of the horn and then lighter as it gets towards the end. And that was the other thing I liked about the uh, 2003 sort of Clone Wars realistic figure is they actually gave him like a severed horn. So like he'd been in the wars obviously and lost part of his horn. I really like that idea. Yeah, he's got that sort of head tattoo on the top there, that marking. But again, even the sort of the sculpt of the robes, it's sort of got that sort of angular, you can kind of see those lines across the back. It sort of goes with the animated style, but it's not overbearing, you know, like you've sort of got the, the physique of the the chest there, and the sort of angles of the folds of the fabric, these clone, clone gauntlets, it's got a little marking on there on both sides, and then the soft goods of the of the bottom half of the Jedi Rose, which is great. 
And then yeah, underneath that, just sort of pretty standard legs and, and Jedi boots. So that's cool. So in terms of articulation, he does have a ball on socket head, as I sort of showed you before. Ball hinge in the elbows, ball hinge in the shoulders, swivel in the wrists, swivel at the waist there. Uh, he does have a swivel at the top of the legs. Uh, ball hinge in the knees and no ankle articulation for CC team. But again, when you've got a sculpt that is that good, I'm happy to sort of bypass the ankles. Again, it's a it's a 2011 figure. Some figures that got a lot less articulation than that, particularly early on in the line. But yeah, this is you know one of many many Jedi they did in the Clone Wars line. One of my favourites. So I really wanted to do him nice and early this year. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at Jedi Master Stacey Teen. I think he looks just absolutely brilliant. Such a nice, such a nice figure, isn't it? Anyway, folks, I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this one. Uh, yeah, I think next week I've got another Jedi that I really want to share. Um, and then, yeah, I'll get back into some, get back into some, um, requests. So if you've got any requests, please drop them in the comments. Uh, any members to my channel that put in a request for Clone Wars figures, they'll get bumped straight up the top of the list before any of my planned videos. Um, so if you are a member and, uh, you'd like to, like to see something, you'll get that pretty much straight away or within within the week of uh of the video coming out so again appreciate you all tuning in give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one till then may the force be with you always